Hey guys, I promised I'd be back with the numbers on what you guys, you folks out there in uh, YouTube land, voted on the Foe Fighter R172B, whether or not we should save it or scrap it. So what I did is I went very scientifically through the numbers, which is very simple for me because there were simple numbers. But what I decided to do is when I posted this, uh, I put, put it on a bunch of Facebook groups. So. I put it on a couple different groups and I threw it out there to basically get people to watch my silly video, but also to see if I get some comments on whether or not anybody wants to save this thing or scrap it. So the first ones I looked at were, um, or the first one that came back, and what I did is I did the numbers for one week. So the week I dropped it until um, just a day or so ago. So just one week of comments, which uh, kept the numbers easy for me to handle. So. Went through all the comments, racked and stacked them, whether it was positive, negative, whatever, and or any miscellaneous kind of stuff. So did that for you, and that was on both YouTube and then also a bunch of Facebook groups. So Facebook groups, let's go through those first. I thought this was kind of funny. Cessna 172 Pilots Group um, thought that they would be absolutely passionate about keeping it. Uh, almost 70%-ish said, scrap the plane, get rid of it, junk it, which I thought was pretty funny actually, um, because I thought they liked Cessna 172s. Who knew? Next group, another interesting one. Next group was the uh, worthy, was the uh, A&P Mechanics uh, um, Facebook group. And I thought, okay, here's a bunch of folks and, and I, I'm an A&P mechanic um, over in uh, the UK, it's a, or a British Empire, aviation maintenance engineer, or former, main, uh, former British Empire. Um, but I thought, okay, here we go. This is a, there's a lot of folks should be kind of, you know, passionate about getting stuff fixed. Probably about 80% of the, yeah, about 80% of the mechanics said, scrap it, junk it, get rid of it. Um, about, you know, 5% said, uh, keep it. And which I thought was really low. And then, uh, about 10% didn't really understand the question. Okay. That's cool. General Aviation Pilots Australia Facebook group. Um, kind of interesting, 100% uh, small number, but hey, love you guys down there in Australia, uh, down in the land of Oz. You guys really uh, have a lot of good stuff, a lot of activity. I hope to someday get down there. Um, not with this plane, but I hope to get down there someday. 100% of the folks said, keep the aircraft, save it. So hey, kudos, I thought that was pretty cool. Um, and that was the uh, General Aviation Pilots Australia Facebook group. Um, General Aviation Canada, and again, trying to spread it around, getting the love out there. Um, General Aviation Canada group. Uh, I put the post up there and then it got kicked out by the admin saying they didn't want it there. So you guys didn't get a say in anything because it was taken off your page. So. Sorry. Um, that being said, Glenn, Glenn's hangar is doing a 172B, doing a real nice job on that aircraft. Um, it should be a sweetheart aircraft. He's doing quite a bit more than we'll ever do to this aircraft, but he's doing a fabulous job. I think it's, um, I think it's uh, Glenn's hangar, Canucks Unlimited, something like that. Uh, great channel. In fact, I had a couple little, uh, little uh, words with him on one of the Facebook groups. So um, great to see him doing that stuff. So uh, hopefully we'll keep, keep in touch and uh, get together sometime one of these days. So that's uh, that's a deal there. Um, next page. Oh, subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. Um, so subscribe. So there. Okay, now let's get down to the meat and potatoes. You saw last time a lot of the damage that was out there. And we, we know that the aircraft has wing damage. We know that the aircraft has fuselage damage. And this is hail damage that came down and beat the heck out of it. We had some hail, I think it was inch and a half round at least, something like that. A little bit, some a little bigger in our area, about the size of a squash ball. So there was some big stuff that hit. Um, we've had some folks that say, hey, just scrap the, uh, scrap the aircraft. It's, um, it's rubbish. Um, get, you know, uh, salvage it out and uh, use the money elsewhere. Well, we have two wings that are useless. We have a fuselage, which not many folks need a fuselage for a 172B. The engine is, as far as we're concerned, run out, needs a complete overhaul, so that's really not worth much. Uh, the horizontal 
the tail feathers, we've got those half done, so we're really not going to get much money for this at all. Um, one of the things you could probably say is, well, uh, you know, it's, it's just you're wasting your money. Um, if you've been following the 172 prices here recently, and when I say recently, the last year or so, people are asking stupid money for them. Um, my opinion with the inflation that's going on worldwide and the pr fuel prices that are going up worldwide, my opinion is you're going to see the big six aircraft, the um, Barons, the Bonanzas, the uh, Vikings, the uh, any of the big six, even the Cherokee sixes, those kinds of things, PA 32s, um, 310s, those kind of aircraft, you're going to see the value on those, I think, dropping drastically probably in the next six months. Why would you say that, Bill? Well, we had it last time the fuel prices went up. You could, I remember a Cessna 310 being sold for $15,000 because people would just part it out as opposed to try to overhaul an engine or something. It was, it was that bad. So I see that, I'm gonna say I'm gonna see that coming. That being said, I think the 172 will be valuable. Um, now, why would I say this aircraft is gonna be valuable? Because at the end of the day, this aircraft will have all new, all structural stuff will be uh, taken care of. It has little, if any, corrosion. It's got, uh, it'll have fresh paint. It'll have a zero time engine. Um, in fact, we've got the overhaul or the propeller overhauled already. Um, it'll have a new interior because it smells like poo out there right now. And again, I'd be out there on the aircraft right now. I tried doing it last night. However, the wind has just not let down here in, in North Texas. Probably won't let down until another six months or something. So I, I just couldn't get my noise down or my sound down where it was usable. So that being said, again, um, I don't know where I was going with it. Values of the 172, I think are gonna be hold, it'll hold. So I think it makes good sense to restore, bring this one back. I don't think in the grand scheme of things, it's that bad. The wings can be easily rebuilt. Uh, there's many shops out there. Again, we're gonna put, we're gonna reach out to them and hopefully uh, work with them and see what we can do. Uh, it is still our end goal to take this aircraft and place it with an organization, um, maybe a flying museum, maybe a flying group or something that can bring more folks into the fold, maybe some kids. Um, it's a 172 tricycle gear, pretty much anybody, low time CFI can fly it, private pilot without tearing it up. So that's, that's our end goal is, is to have this aircraft go to some life like that, but get it back in the air, get it flying and do that, do, do a bunch of great things. So that's, that's what our goal was before all this. Now, as I said last time, it was up to you guys, uh, whether or not we keep it. Now we saw what the Facebook weenie said, it was kind of half, half. I still think Canada was voting for us, but I got knocked off of their website or their uh, Facebook site. But that being said, I think that it's all up to you on Facebook now. So I did, the, or pardon me, not Facebook, pardon me, YouTube, all you YouTube subscribers. And again, I, um, where's my piece of paper? Um, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. So subscribe because it's good, okay? And comment because, you know, I could someday make a dollar or two off of this thing. So that's where we are. I don't have enough money to put this thing together. I'll tell you that right now. I do not have enough money to finish this aircraft because it's gonna take probably about 50 grand. Don't have that. Uh, we probably will most likely do some kind of sort crowdfunding, GoFundMe, uh, Give, Send, Go, something like that. That's our, our intent. Uh, hopefully also bring some vendors in. It's my hope that we bring some vendors in to do some work with them, see how uh, we can maybe showcase some, some stuff. I don't want to make this a super plane. I don't want to put $100,000 worth of avionics in it. This is just going to be a good daytime flyer, a good strong flyer for uh, some hopefully incentive type flights, flights or primary flight training, that kind of thing. That's, that's kind of where I'd like it to go. I, I don't know. That's what I'm thinking. So anyway, what's the count? Is, are we going to save it or scrap it? And it's up to you YouTube folks. And here's the numbers right there. Hangar at YouTube channel. And this is what you guys said. You guys said about 75% said save it. Um, about 10% said scrap it. Those are, actually, I take about 15%. About 15% said scrap it. 
Um, 75%, I think it was 74, 75%, something like that said save it. So we're gonna do that. And then about 10% didn't understand the question. That's okay, that's cool. So we're gonna do this thing. So like I said, that was our plan earlier is to do something like this. We're not any kind of copycat channel or whatever. I, I have no intention of doing that. I do have intention of following this thing all the way through. Um, I'd also like uh, for any folks in the North Texas area to maybe hopefully we'll start doing a Saturday thing and having some folks come up and work on it. Maybe we can get some vendors in and work in the shop. We're finishing up the new shop. That's where it's gonna be. The majority of the work is gonna be done. We're still in the corner of the engine shop here. So that's what's gonna, that's pretty much what we're gonna do. So that's, that was my big thing. Um, that was my big goal is to, where's my other piece of paper? I had another piece of paper here. Ah, I lost it. Um, so that's my big goal is to get this thing flying. Are we going to be at Air Venture 2022? No. Is this going to be a drama type reality thing? No. Um, is it all about trying to get it to run? No. That engine out there, I think I could probably get it to run in a day or two. But you know what? If I try to get it running, I may destroy the engine where I can't overhaul it. So what's the good of that? So what we're going to do is right now it's been sort of pickled. I haven't cracked it open. I haven't taken the cowling off. Honest, I, I got to be honest with you guys, a couple of years. So. We'll go open it up next time, next episode, and we'll start cleaning out, seeing what's inside the, the uh, aircraft. But for all you folks that were wondering, this thing's gonna go fly again. So that's the deal, that's the plan, that's where we're going. Uh, hopefully next week or two, we'll get a GoFundMe site going, we'll, um, and I'll get a, um, I'll get a, try to get an email, so if you guys wanna send anything on that, um, that that'll be great. So, um, and we've got already on our notes down below, we've just got a P.O. box. So if anybody wants to send us free shit, that's cool. Send it to us. But um, that's it. Faux Fighter, the F-A-U-X, Faux Fighter, the fake fighter. Um, this is going to look like an Army T-41. That's what we're painting it up for. I think it'll be really enjoyable. I think a lot of folks will get a kick out of it. So it'll allow us to do some nice um, nice flying for our kids, maybe do some, maybe help some veterans, that kind of stuff. So we'll see how it all goes. But that's the plan. We're going to save the Cessna 172B, 1961, I believe it is. And if you're following Glenn's hangar, like I said, great, great uh, deal. His airplane, I think, is about six or 800 numbers, something like that. A little bit newer than ours, I think. Um, so very similar aircraft. Um, so it should be kind of fun to watch. And as I said, anybody in North Texas area, Fort Worth area, if you're flying in, driving in, we're on an airport here, Grass Strip. But uh, we've had everything from a J3 into a DC-3. If anybody wants to drop in and help out, we're going to set up, probably set up some uh, work days. Probably, I'm thinking probably Saturday, something like that, Friday, Saturdays. So that's our plan for now. The Faux Fighter is a go. We'll see you next episode. Hang a rats out. Go fly yourself.